my name's Colleen. Um, I currently work at Expro North Sea Limited and I'm based in Aberdeen and I've been in this role as an engineer um, for four years. At school I had won an engineering scholarship and was named one of the top 30 young engineers in the country. So I've got no idea why I didn't study engineering from the beginning but um, I ended up um, applying to other universities and they basically were wanting me to do five years of engineering. I spoke to someone at Glasgow Uni and they um, encouraged me to get in contact with a few people from the UHI um, to go on to the aircraft engineering as I'd always been interested in aeronautics. They gave me third year entry into that degree so it meant I was cutting off three years um, of studying. Um, ended up there, had a great time and learnt so much, did a lot of hands-on experience as well as mathematics and technical work and a lot of design work and I ended up getting onto the graduate programme here at Expro in Aberdeen. Expro is a global oil and gas service company and we provide services, products and technical expertise across the life cycle of a well. Um, I currently work within Group Engineering and within the subsea division. My job title is engineer. Um, I've came up from being a graduate engineer and um, going around different departments and things. So now I'm part of group engineering. Um, and uh, within group engineering, um, I am part of the analysis team. And basically what we do is we do a lot of finite element analysis, computational fluid dynamics and global riser analysis. Now my job is I basically build 3D models um, through computer simulation or I will also improve a design. The title of the course that I did at the university was a BEng Honours um, in Aircraft Engineering and basically I did a lot of mathematics, design work, I also did a lot of hands-on things, um, so I actually did a lot of work on aircraft engines and different parts of the aircraft. I um, also did a lot of bit of project management and I did a lot of things on you know, standards and things as well. I think about this job, I get a challenge, I come in and you don't know what you could be dealing with. Even things that seem routine, you can have so many different problems, so many different challenges and it's good to come in and actually do something you enjoy. Even though I didn't study, as I said, it was, it was aircraft that I studied rather than mechanical, the fundamental processes are still the same. And things like I did class on project management, I learned a lot about CFD there, which is computational fluid dynamics. I learned a lot about 2D and 3D design. And this was skills I didn't have um, before I attended there. And these were things that made me not get a graduate position in oil and gas before that or within the industry and without a lot of these classes and things it wouldn't have it just wouldn't have happened. From university I've taken quite a lot of skills so I've taken a lot of um, skills as in project management skills, taken a lot of design work skills, taken a lot of skills from being on the tools, also a lot of team working um, so working with different um, different varieties of people in different roles, having deadlines, having to meet these deadlines. If I don't communicate with someone, I could just be off doing something that's completely wrong or I'm doing something that's not been asked of me. And that, of course, costs time, it costs money. So in a working environment, you have to continually have a good line of communication between your manager, between the people in your team, between two people in other teams. I want to know when a design's ready so that I can go and analyse it using FEA. I want to know when drawings are released. I need to know all this stuff. If people don't tell me this, then I don't know that. It's a great place to study and people genuinely care. So a lot of the lecturers got a problem or something, say you've got some coursework you don't understand. People actually did take the time after classes or anything to actually help you and that was such a relief to be honest because we all know things can get on top of you, things can be tough and there was a lot of very, very talented engineers there as well that knew a lot about what they were doing on a day-to-day -day basis and they had a lot of people who came from academia and a lot of people that came from industry so it was definitely a very good balance and it was a great place to study.